What's up, gamers? That's the cringiest intro I've ever done. I'm gonna go over rucksacks for Vietnam reenacting and airsoft. Cause there's a couple different stages. There's you know advanced stage, beginner stage, intermediate stage, and stages you just shouldn't do. Before anything, I, I don't care if you don't have a budget. It's fine if you don't have a rucksack. You know I don't. But any of those lame excuses, my grandpa fought in Vietnam or. My gear is correct. There is no excuse to be using an Alice pack. I don't care what it is, money-wise. If you have money problems, just don't buy the fucking Alice pack, all right? No Alice pack. I don't care what it is. It makes your impression look like a joke, and boomers will freaking spaz out on you. For those who don't know what Alice packs look like, easiest way to tell is the frame in the back. If there's no frame... Uh, do some more research. I don't really want to get into it because I hate holding this thing. It's a piece of junk. So I'm going to start at the top and work my way down to the bottom. The top of the food chain, you have your lightweight rucksack. This is a lightweight rucksack frame. This has been modified with tape to my liking. And this is an unmodified, non modified version. If you can find these online for under $300, don't think about it, buy it. These go for ridiculous money and they're getting harder and harder to find every single day. I've seen a couple pictures of people actually reproducing these, but it costs about the same money to reproduce these and just to get an original. And it's not worth the hassle if you're not good at sewing and stuff. This is the top of the food chain. This is the top thing you want. You can fit whatever you need on here. I don't care if it's ammo cans for all your personal items, Claymore bags, machetes, shovels. You can fit a hell of a lot of stuff in there. You can strap on just about anything you can. Uh, with this, it's endless with the amount of water and the amount of gear you can get. You can carry as much as you can handle with this thing. A couple side notes. If you need uh, even more extra space, you can clip on gas masks to the side. This is a rubberized gas mask for a grasshopper. These are cool to use on rucksacks. Flare tubes. Get an empty one, fill it up with cigars. Or a little uh, nips of Jack Daniels. Put shells in here, put machetes on here, put radios on here. If you're putting your radio on, you're going to put your rucksack on the bottom of the frame and the radio on top. Classic mistake. I don't care who you are, where you are, where you were going. Then there's a line from Michael Scott. Put your rucksack top of the frame. The bottom, you can put, uh, well, pretty much whatever you want. I Most people do ammo cans. Don't do a butt pack unless you're knife ID. You're going to get a lot of crap for that. Uh, you can even put a tropical rucksack in here. I don't own a tropical rucksack yet, but that is on the list. But only use tropical rucksack if you are doing first cat white war. That's probably the only exception besides Lerps, maybe. But still, Lerps use uh, Arvin more than they use Alice. And that is more affordable. So this is the top of the food chain. I'll probably do it in a more in-depth video. I got my poncho liner on here, my shovel, my machete. You can fit whatever you want on here. Like, I, that's not even a broad statement. I mean, that is a broad statement, but there's no end to this thing. It's my favorite thing I own. I love this so much. I bought a second one. This one's a more mint one. Uh, it's funny, I like this one because there's two tones going on, and you can see in a lot of pictures. Some of them look plain green like this one, and two tones going on. Uh, my buddy Vince knows more about this than I do. He probably has a museum-sized collection. Uh, mine is small and insignificant compared to his. Next up on the food chain. The classic Arvin packs. Before you buy one of these, keep in mind, they were designed for a 90 pound Asian man. I'm a couple pounds over 90 pounds, obviously. So if you're gonna use one of these, no matter what your weight is, modify the straps. The best I found was go to Army Surplus Store, buy a green pistol belt, cut it in half down the middle, and sew that to the strap. Makes everything a hell of a lot easier. These can range all the way up to $200, depending on condition. Before you buy one, you can tell price-wise what it's worth by checking if it's got the frame. 
you can hold a lot. These are designed for one C ration in each pocket, but use wherever you want. One good thing about this is you can wear your butt pack underneath this without getting any crap for it. Unlike the rucksack, if you're using a rucksack, lightweight rucksack, you shouldn't have a butt pack anywhere on your website or impression. Except for this one, put a butt pack under this, put machetes on it, put shovels on it, put whatever you want on it. The only downside is it's a little bit small, but it's your intermediate rucksack. It costs you around $200. Before I get to the cheapest, I'm going to go over kind of the uh, sub themes. I don't know how to say it. Uh, sub impressions. M5 Medic Bag. I scored out. I got this one for 70 bucks. That's pretty cheap. M5 Medic Bag. You can actually strap these on a lightweight frame. So you could put this on the top and put your bag on the bottom. You can fit a hell of a lot of stuff in there, but really, for you not the anything, you should be carrying actual medical equipment. Put it on top of the frame and put a butt pack or a rucksack on the bottom of the frame. These can get pretty pricey, and the full original ones with all the stuff can sell up to six, seven hundred dollars. Now, one thing I can't afford is a real PRC 77 radio. So, I went on eBay. I found a shell for one in Iran. Two months later, I got this plastic piece of crap. So, I redid the paint job. I hit it up with some silver marker, kind of making it look more metal. I'm hitting this all up with paint. This was like neon green when I got it. I took out the antenna, and right now I'm working on building a reproduction antenna, obviously. When I'm done with it, I'm planning to have a uh, signal panel right here, two smoke grenades, and an accessory uh, thing for the radio equipment. Handset wrapped in plastic to keep it waterproof. Bandolier butt pack. And a Prick 77 backboard. Now, as well as controversy of these, they have been seen in the film uh, field, but it's just more common to see them on a rucksack. But if you're getting an original, don't let anyone break your balls by having one of those. Because if you can afford one of those, you can you can afford a rucksack. Just use whatever the fuck you want to use. If you got one of those, that's great. One more thing I want to add. Let me look at Nate's rucksack super quick. See, he did something pretty smart. I actually really like this. So we were at an event, and there was a... Uh, we're watching the mortar pit. We got one of these mortar tubes. He stuck it in his rucksack. There's no mortar in here, and there is so much. Look, I can fist this thing, you know? There is so much space in this tube. You can fit, fit all your rashes here. You can fit whatever you want in here. Hella space. Fit whatever you want in here. For water, for him, he has a five quart bladder, two quart on the side, and a one quart on this side. And for his e-tool, he has an M67 e-tool. And he prefers the uh, 56 cover over the 67. So that way you can put his bayonet on the side. Because he does use M16, so he actually has a need for a bayonet. I use my AK, which I have to stop using because I've gotten so much crap for that. So I'll use my real AR and put the bayonet on it. Now down to money savers or working your way up. Now you're going to get one of these if you're tight on a budget. You're just feeling out the hobby. You don't know if you like it. If you don't like the hobby, that's fine. You can sell the stuff back and make your money back or make even more. So you're going to get this stuff if you're just feeling it out, not knowing how you like it. Now, if you don't get a rucksack, you need a butt pack. So this is my butt pack right here. I like seven of these, but I don't feel like taking one out. M56 butt pack. Well, this is actually the 61. You can tell because this one's a bit bigger. And it has the rubber lining. 61 is way more popular and you can get them way more cheaper than 56. It's practically the same thing. Just get a 61. So you can fit a decent amount of stuff in here. Probably fit a couple extra socks, extra pair of pants, maybe a day's worth of rations. You got your basics in here. <laughs> so you definitely need one of those. Then if you're trying to be accurate but still have more space, and M3 bags. These should have kind of slings, but I don't want to take, a, take them off my rifles. M3 bags. 
you can get them from $15, and John just stopped, uh, sold his to a guy for $80. Wide range. So, you see more commonly rubberized versions of these, but I have plenty that are 1971 dated and 69 dated. Rubberized is a bit more accurate, but you're going to be spending a couple hundred dollars for a rubberized version, and it's just not worth it. Up next, Soldier's Best Friend, a Claymore bag. This is your purse, all right? Or satchel, man purse. What are, what are those things you see them guys wear? I'm talking about the, the fanny pack. Yeah, fanny packs. Or your fanny pack. I personally like to strap this in the back of my ammo can. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Once soldiers use their claymores, they would keep the bags and they would put socks, underwear, food, whatever you need in here. I personally keep all my food as well as my Tabasco and a couple pairs of socks wrapped up in plastic bags and this thing for easy access so I don't got to unpack my rucksack. But you can also just easily use it. Indiana Jones or Bruce Jenner style, you know, depending on your point of view. Last but not least, especially if you're a Marine. If you're a Marine, you need one of these. If you're Army, it's okay. Get a gas mask, take out the gas mask, you don't need it. Strap it around your hip, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. That's just about it, those are the basics. Any questions, feel free to hit me up on Instagram or comment in the section. Comment in the comment section, yeah? Yeah, all right. Comment in the comment section below, make sure you leave a comment. Uh, that's about all, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you around.